All right, subchapter so 6, civil administrative penalties request for the junction area hearing. Subchapter so of the government of the Department of Assessment of Civil Administrative Penalty with the violation provision of the act, including with the rules, regulation, plan, with the information required that they accept the request of the board or the director of the promulgated the issue pursuant to this act. Subchapter so also given the procedure of the requesting the junction area hearing on the notice of civil administrative penalty assessment administrative order, the condition of the approval of the writing of the plan and amendment to plan or denial, revocation or approval of the plan amendment to the plan and required under the chapter applicable. The department may issue a civil administrative penalty, but no more than fifty thousand dollars for any of the discharge less than a hundred thousand gallons, no more than one ten million dollars for any discharge over a hundred thousand gallons or more, no more than fifty thousand dollars for each violation act of the any of the rule regulation plan information request access request order or directive or obligated issue pursuant to the act. Each violation any of the provision act of the any of the rule regulation plan with the information request access the request of the other directive or obligated issue pursuant to their two constitute with a separate and distinct offense. Each day during the which the violation continue with the child constitute with additional separate with a distinct offense of the department made within discretion three offense of the first offense solely for civil or administrative penalty determination for pur purposes of the, if the violation has not committed with the same offense within five years immediately preceding the day of the pending off offense neither the assessment of civil administrative penalty nor the penalty of the, any such of the admin civil administrative penalty should be deemed to affect with the availability any other enforcement provision provided by the act any other statute in connection with the violation for the assessment is levied Seven one six three. Um seven one eight six three. The procedure for the issue of the administrative order and assessment settlement of the payment of the civil administrative penalties in order to assess civil administrative penalty under the act of the violation act of the any of the rule regulation information request of the act says request order directed promulgated for the issue pursuant to the act of the department shall mean of the um of an administrative order of the notice of the civil administrative penalty notified the violator of uncertified mail return receipt with the request of the personal civil department may discretion above the civil administrative penalty for more than one offense of the single administrative order notice of the civil administrative penalty assessment multiple administrative orders notice of the civil administrative penalty assessment the administrative order notice of the civil administrative penalty assessment shall notify the section of the action plan of the request order the Director violated to consistently state the fact that the Constitution, the Constitution which is validation, order such violation to cease, specify the amount of civil administrative penalty to be imposed, adjust the violator, require the court of the junctionary hearing pursuant to the procedure of New Jersey Administration Code 71E64. All right, B, the civil administrative penalty with duty up to the receipt of the violator. Department final uh, order to con contest in case of the no civil administrative penalty become final order as follows. No hearing request pursuant to the procedure of the New Jersey Code 71E64 of the notice of the civil administrative penalty assessment becomes a final order and, and 21st of the calendar date of the following receipt of the notice of civil administrative penalty by the violator. If the Department of Denied with a hearing request of the New Jersey Administration Code 71E64A, the notice of the civil administrative becomes the final order and is deemed received on the 21st day of the following receipt of the notice of the civil administrative assessment by the violator. If the department denies the hearing request pursuant to the New Jersey Administration Code 71E64C, the civil administrator penalty assessment becomes final order upon the receipt of the violator, not such for the denial. If the department grants the hearing request of the notice of civil administrator penalty assessment becomes final order upon the receipt of the violator of final order in a contested case. If the civil administrator becomes... Um, the penalty is not paid within 30 calendar day of, day of the final order. The penalty is not contested pursuant to the New Jersey Administration Code 71 e 64 with on payment of presumed the payment scheduled for the entry of the department is not made with the interest of the charge shall accrue with the amount of the penalty for 30 calendar day of the amount was due and owing. If the civil administrative penalty is opponent to the New Jersey Administration Code 71 e 64 with the amount of the penalty is upheld with the whole of the part of the rate of the interest shall be calculated on the amount of the 30th calendar day of the day of the amount with which is due with the under owing under the administrative order of the rate of the interest charge on the late penalty shall be tried established by the New Jersey Supreme Court for interest rates on judgments set forth on ruling governing the courts and state of the New Jersey the Department of Assess the recovery of the civil administrative award with the cost of any of the investigation cleanup of the removal responsible cause for the preparing successfully enforcing a civil administrative penalty the assessment may be covered by the same time civil administrative penalty shall be in addition with the penalty assessment any person who violates provisions of the act of the court order issued pursuant to thereto with a failure to pay civil administrative penalty and feel will agree to the scheduled payments as if thereafter shall be subject to the civil penalty with an exceeding fifty thousand dollars per offense any penalty shall incur may be covered with the cost of the summary proceed proceeding pursuant to the new jersey state authority 2a 58 1 attend sequence supreme court municipal court 
Any companion sheep with the intent of the willful discharge has or substance when the subject of the forfeiture of the state of the department may be discreet and settled with the civil administrative penal acts of the New Jersey Administration Code 71 E6566, 67, and 68, or 68, according to the following factors. Mitigating extensive extensive circumstances have not previously considered the notice of the civil administrative penalties assumed in the New Jersey Assisted Code 71 E68. Timely implementation violator measures leading to compliance not previously conserved the assessment penalties under pursuing the New Jersey Administration Code 65 or 68. The follow payment of the violator specified part of the civil administrative penalty assessed made of the time period established with the department and administrative order provided with the violator waive the right to request an injunctionary hearing on civil administrative penalty or any of the terms, conditions, and acts acceptable with the department and not previously considered in the assessment for penalties pursuant New Jersey Administration Code 71 E6566. Or six eight. All right, six four. Procedure for requesting conducting injunctionary hearings. The department does not have the receipt of the request within twenty calendar days after the receipt of the violation. Administrative board notes for the civil administrative penalty assessment condition of the approval of any of the plan amendments of the plan. The denial of the revocation of the approval of the plan. Amendment being shown by the department shall know that I have the hearing request to request the junction and hearing with the of the managed and type of the administrative order notes for the civil administrative penalty assessment. Uh, is issued with the act with the condition of the approval of any of the plan amendment of the plan to deny the revoke and approval of any of the plan amendment of the plan required by the pursuant of the act with the violator shall submit the following information in writing on the forms provided by the department to the department at the address in the E below, below. Name and address, telephone number of the person requesting the hearing and his or her authorized representative, the company administrative order with its non civil administrative penalty assessment of the approval of the denial, revoke and approval of the any of the plan assessment. Amendment of list of all the issues being appealed. Admission of the denial, each of the department defined within fact with the administrator of the order of the notice of the civil administrative penalty and an assessment of the denial of revocation and approval of the plan amendment to the plan of the violators without knowledge of the information sufficient for the belief of the, of the truth of the finding. Violator so shall state with the, with that he has affected the effect of the denial. The denial shall fairly meet the substance of the finding of the denial of the violator's intent with the good faith of the denial. Only the part of the qualification of the finding of the violator violator shall specify such for the make it much as, as the true and material deny only on the, on the remainder of the violator may not generally deny all the findings but shall make all denials specifically denials and des by of designated findings for each finding the violator deny denies the violator shall allege the fact or the facts that the violator believes it is it is it is or them to be Violator defense to each of the department finds the facts and finding of the facts administrative the order notes of the civil administrative penalty assessment reason for the denial revocation approval to save in the short plain to plain terms. Information supporting the request expressed specifically reference um to copies of the other written documents relied upon the support of the request and estimate of the time required for the hearing in the days and hours. Request of necessary for barrier free hearing location of the physical disabled in person, the clear identification, any willingness negotiating settlement with the department prior to the department processing of the hearing request for the Office of the Administrator of Law. If the violator fails to include all the information required by the B above and the department may deny by the hearing request, all junctionary hearings shall be conducted in accordance with the Administrative Procedures Act of New Jersey State Authority 5214B1 and 10 with the Uniform Administrative Procedure Law Rules, New Jersey Administration Code 1-1. All right, request for the injunctionary hearing shall be some of the Office of Legal Affairs of the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection, 401 East State Street, some of the floor, P.O. Box 402, Mail Code 40104. Well, Trent, New Jersey, Euro 862504020, attend injunctionary hearing request with a copy of the Bureau of Release Prevention, usually the Department of Environmental Action and Protection, 401 East 8 Street, 7th floor, PO Box 420, mail code 22038, Trent, New Jersey Administration, 0862504, attend injunctionary hearing request. 71E65, Civil Administrative Penalty Determination for Violation Other than Set Forth in the New Jersey Administration Code 7166 through 68. And the Department may access civil administration penalties for the offenses described in the subchapter with the following ranges up to $20,000 for the first offense, $35,000 second offense, $50,000 for the third, and each subsequent offense. Uh, offense. A uh, department may, in discretion amount, with a determined presumed the A, A above the except of the civil administrative penalty based on the following fact: the complaint of the history of the violator, the name of the frequency, severity of the offense, measure to take on the violator, mitigate the effect of the current offense for the prevent and future offense for the determined attack fact of the penalty or the other circumstances specifically grouping the violator offenses. Seven one e six six civil administrative penalty. Um, submitting inaccurate false information, the department may issue civil administrative penalty against each of the violators who submits inaccurate information of the makes, false statement, of representation, certification of the, the this 
discharge prevention con contaminant countermeasure plan of discharge cleanup remedial planning regarding registration record or other documentation submitted maintain with falsified tampers which renders in according inaccurate mounting device method required to maintain under active any rule regulation plan or any other direct pursuant thereof each time the violator submits an inaccurate false information to the department shall be an additional separate and distinct offense each day of the day each day from the day of the violator news and knew, knew and had reason to know that he or she had submitted an inaccurate false information to the department till the day of the receipt of the department of the written correction of the violator shall be an additional separate and distinct offense. The department shall determine the amount of civil administrative penalties for an offense described in the section based on the conduct of the violators follows. For additional in, initial deliberate purposeful knowingly willfully acting on a mission violator civil administrative penalty for each act of the mission up to $20,000 first offense, $40,000 second offense, $50,000 for third and each subsequent offense. For all other conduct of civil administrative penalty such as the act of mission is up to $1,000 first offense, $2,000 second offense, $5,000 for third and subsequent offense. Violation under the section is not minor and therefore not subject for grace period. All right, seven one eight six seven. The civil administrative pa penalty failure to allow lawful entry and inspection. The department may assess the civil administrative penalty against violators who refuse to inhibit it, prohibit it immediately lawful entry and inspection of any premise, building, vessel, place, or expect private residencies by any authorized department representative. Each day, of the violator refuses to inhibit it, prohibit it immediately lawfully entry and inspection any present premises, building, vessel, place, except the private residency of an authorized department representative. Shall be additional, separate, distinctive. Um, Offense. The amount of the civil administrative penalty offense of the described in the section up to a ten thousand dollar first line offense, twenty thousand dollar second offense, four fifty thousand for third and each and subsequent offense. Violation under this section is non minor and therefore not subject to a grace period. Seven one E six eight. Civil administrative penalties violation rules adopted pursuant to the act. Civil administrative penalties these offense described in C two below now. Below, below should be addressed, assessed if the time allotted under the applicable schedule upgrading and approve with the department expired. Civil administrator penalties often offenses described in C2 below and 4 below shall apply with the major facilities. All other civil administrators shall apply with the all person. The department all shall determine the amount of the civil administrator penalty of the offense described in the section of the base of the provision violated with the frequency of the violation. Violation identified minor or non minor in accordance with the New Jersey State Authority 131D125 at 10 sequence set forth in this section. The department will provide a grace period for any of the violations identified as minor in accordance with the New Jersey Administrative Code 71E69 for the number of each of the following paragraphs corresponding with the number of the corresponding subchapter. New Jersey Administration Code 71E of the violation of New Jersey Administration. Code 71E1, General Provision Civil Administration Penalty, each violation. So for the following table and this modified by D below, in the case, uh, in the, no case shall the assessed penalty be less than zero, more than the statutory limit. And this uh, cites the New Jersey Administration Code 71E111. A, base penalty, each violation, and it shows the gallons and um, penalty. Base penalty for the reduced increase, applying the following factors area in... Uh, Category of offenses, citing first offense, second, third, fourth, minor, minor, minor days. And these are, this chart goes on for quite some time. All right, the department may modify the amount of civil administrative penalty under C above the base on all the following mitigation and situations, circumstances, the information prevention measures, in addition with the minimum required of the applicable state rate rule. Full payment of violators specified part of the civil administrative penalty is made with the time period period established department and administrative order on civil administrative penalty assessed, provided that the violator waive the right to request a junctionary hearing on the civil administrative penalty and or any other circumstances or conditions acceptable for the department. Condition of grace period for the department will provide a grace period for the aim violation identified as a minor in accordance with the table of the New Jersey Administration Code 71E68 is provided. Violation is not resolved for the purpose of the knowingly, recklessly, criminally neglecting um, conduct of the person responsible for the violation. Actively conditioning and constituting the violation has existed for at least 12 months for the prior to the date of the discovery of the department. The person responsible for the violation is not identified as a previous enforcement action, but the department is responsible for the same and the substantial similar violation of the same facility within the preceding 12 month period. 
period. Where the department discovered the violation of the designated with his minor and corn within both tables of the New Jersey Administration Code 71E68 and above the issue of the notice of violation of the person responsible for the minor violation, which identified with the condition activated with the constitute violation specifically for statutory register statutory regulation and regulatory provisions of the requirement violated. Notify the person responsible for the violation have the penalty may be imposed upon them uh, unless the compliance with the chief of the time period provided for the violation has set forth at the table of the New Jersey Administration Code 71868. If the person responsible for the major minor violation correct for the violation demonstrated that the department of the complaint with that has achieved the period of a specified of the notice of the violation issue presumably the department will not issue the penalty of the violation. If the person responsible for the violation fails to demonstrate the department the compliance has achieved the period of the time specified the notice of violation the department may in accordance with the provision of the chapter impose a penalty which is retroactive to the enforcement document was first issued. All right, subchapter so seven: confidential confidentiality claims.